We got our very first horse ever on November the 2nd, 2017. Her name was Sabrina, a long-term lease horse, and we were in love. We didn't know much about how to care for a horse, but we had a great trainer and a desire to learn. We decided on a two week trial to make sure she was a good fit for us. Exactly one week after the trial ended, I woke up to this message on my phone. All right, you guys, horrible things are happening. I am freaking out. We are in the middle of homeschool. I just got a message and I am freaking out. Like, ugh. I'm panicking inside like good morning I just wanted to give you a heads up that Sabrina is mildly colicking we are handling it currently and we'll continue to be in contact with the vet if he or I feel that it's worsening someone from the clinic will be called out to see her no need to panic just wanted to let you know my first reaction when I got the message was to panic I called my husband he rushed home from work and we went racing to the barn Oh, here comes somebody. Still breathing? Kind of. He's okay. Okay. I know. I, I could tell. Oh, yeah. That's why I was like, just, just I like, know. I'm a panicker. You're oh. better at keeping things calm. We're at the horse barn, and before we even got here, Fiona messaged me and said she filmed the vet. I feel a lot better seeing her because she doesn't seem as bad. I pictured that we were going to get here and she'd be rolling on the ground, freaking out. Not eating? No, uh, I came in this morning and she's got half of hay left. Okay. Full bucket of water untouched and uh, didn't want to touch anything in the field. She's just been eating now. She was trying to eat now? Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, she was eating the whole time we've been here. Um, Passing manure. Ron wouldn't leave her in the field, so I couldn't tell you. Okay. Um, really, Rico was a little slow when I checked it earlier. Yeah. Um, like heart rate is low, seconds. and temperature's low. Okay. Does it change much? It's 99. Perfect. So he said, "Yeah, we gave her a shot of Banamine, mm -hmm. and hasn't done anything. Yet. We haven't done anything to her since. She was pawing in the stall when I went to get the stethoscope from the other barn. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we put her back out after her shot of anamine, she aggressively pawed at the front legs, stomped at the back feet, looked at her belly, didn't okay. try to roll. Has she called before? Oh no, she's only been here three weeks. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's a change in routine or whatever, yeah, it yeah. just kind of threw them off and up. I wondered if the warm day yesterday and then it cooled right down again. Uh, deworming history, do you have any? Like, I dewormed her when she first got here three weeks ago. Okay. With what? Uh, I gave her... I'm just trying to think of... I think I gave Ekla and Gold. Okay. At 28. She's got a heart murmur. Okay. Just... Yep. Like, noting. Yep. She's what, 18 you said? 17. 16. 16. You can't okay. get murmurs if they're a little dehydrated. Okay. It's just a flow murmur yeah. that may go away. Well, she hasn't drank. I know she didn't drink last night. I don't know if she drank her field. Is she a thoroughbred? Uh, she is. She's a uh, Westphalian thoroughbred cross. What in thoroughbred? Westphalian. Westphalian. Yeah. I always want to call her a giraffe cross. Yeah. <laughs> She has had holes, so she probably uh, had all this stuff done. That. You might not even need to switch her, you might just be able yeah. to just do it. Yeah, <laughs> we can always try with yeah. that. I mean, when I went out there and fell underneath her blanket, she was warm, but not like hot. Okay. Um, that's when I took her temperature, and I was like, wow, that's really low. Like, it's yeah. not drastically low, but it's lower than average. Same with her heart rate, though. It's lower than average. Yeah. What a good girl you are. Good girl. Good girl. It's quite firm feeling. Um, not like huge, but yeah. just lots of it. Yeah, that would explain and it. often with small colon impactions, they're like mild to moderately colicky. Yeah. Dull. Yeah. And not passing much manure. Yeah. We tuber? I think we tuber. Yeah. 
we get a bunch of water into her, some electrolytes. Um, some oil and go from there. At this point, Sabrina was sedated so that they could run a long tube through her nose down into her stomach. That way they could administer the fluids that she needed, some oil to help lubricate things, and some electrolytes to balance her out. The worst part of the whole entire treatment was her having her twitched. A twitch, if you don't know, is a device that's used to restrain horses for various stressful situations. It is believed that a twitch calms the horse by releasing endorphins as pressure is applied, thus reducing stress and pain, though this is disputed. You cheer around, Lola. I don't want to feel it. Make sure it's in the right spot. Anybody want to feel it? I do. Right here. Right on her here. neck. On, on her, her neck. neck here. Yeah, I've got my oh, left okay. hand. Okay. You want to feel it? Right in here. And just. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. That's the coolest thing. Yeah. You want to feel it, Gabby? Yep, get in there and feel it. So one day when you need to, to help. Let's see it. On this side? Mm -hmm. Right there. Feel it? I'll move it. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> get in there, Sophie. <laughs> There. Can you feel the tube? Feel the tube inside her? When you blow into it gently, right? To clear? As I'm going yeah. in. And then you can smell her stomach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe waft it instead. <laughs> It smells like a lot of grass and hay. It's like that gym bag thing. Don't Anybody you don't else? actually no, smell it? Yes, come on, you have to try <laughs> it. You don't actually like. <laughs> it's almost it's like, like hay and grass, really. Yeah, yeah. But kind of like fermented, fermented. sort of yeah. smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roses. <laughs> okay, so if you did some reading, you probably read that horses don't vomit. No, didn't read that. Okay. You didn't I read, read that? that? I read about this everything. Stuff. I read about this stuff. So they don't vomit, which is part of the reason that we will pass the tube. And check to make sure that they don't have what we call reflux, just basically stuff wanting to come out. I don't expect to have it in her based on what I think is going on, but I still usually will check, put in a little bit of water and see if we get a siphon back. So off you now, I expect to see the funnels worth. Sometimes I don't get it back, um, but I do check to see if anything wants to come back out with stomach. I feel like I'd have a problem putting my mouth on that thing. Why? I don't know. <laughs> we might if something came once, back out of it. Once you've got it shot in your mouth and out your nose once, you, you can oh, do it again. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe not. Actually, that'd but... be nasty. <laughs> like siphoning gas, right? You just gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you do it. You've never done that. <laughs> You know those nose I think if you could do this, you could do gas. Listen, <laughs> listen, that... So that's the oil, so it makes it all slimy so she'll poop better. And you'll be able to see when it's passing. Maybe not necessarily in her poop. Sometimes the poop will be shiny. But if you look at her, her bum, the black, like her butthole will yeah. be shiny. Like it's been wiped with oil. It's just been greased up. It's good. Okay, from the inside out. I know this sucks, doesn't it? So how long is your recuperation going to take? Sort of depends on how quickly she gets over it. Um, most mild to moderate colics like her um, are feeling a whole lot better within a 24 hour period. So I would kind of hope that by tomorrow morning she's looking like her normal self, but extra hungry. Um, and usually if they, you know, depending on how long they've been 
withheld from food anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. If, if that's the case, I usually tell people to go, you know, kind of ease them back on over the same sort of time frame. Yeah, that's Rather than, you know, oh, look, he, they're He's better. starving, give it all to him. Give it the normal, you know, ration because you might end up with the exact same problem yeah. in a couple of days because yeah, that makes sense. they don't know any better. You know, they just eat. Yep. So what have you learned today, girls? Never get a horse. <laughs> <laughs> so they're looking to buy their first horse and they're leasing this mare. Okay. So she just finished her two-week trial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried not to say that part. <laughs> Fifteen. No. How many horses in the property? Uh, right now, 16. <laughs> One leaving. Yep. One leaving. Maybe two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I think she got mad. You look like she put yeah. ears back yeah, for a second there. Yeah, we're just joking. <laughs> just trying to explain that it's not something just because it happens once doesn't mean it's going to happen all the time. Yeah. And like I was just saying, I was saying before, I mean, the, the fact that she's just moved here recently, routine yeah. changes, I mean, yeah, food changes. That's when, that's when they are more prone to do this. Be and the weather changes we've been having, the ups and downs of heat and cold, um, they don't drink enough to, yeah, we to like, that. kind of make up for it, and they eat differently, and it yeah. just, it throws them out of whack. Yeah. Walking can be really valuable in a colic situation because it gets things moving. Basically what we think happened is that the weather changed drastically yesterday. It was really nice and mild and then the temperature plummeted and likely she stopped drinking because the water is cold and sometimes horses do that. I read that before we even came here so it seemed feasible to me. And so just that not drinking for that amount of time caused her um, to not be able to pass all that stool that's in there. I wish I could say that 24 hours later, Sabrina was completely back to normal, but she wasn't. It took 48 hours for our mare to get back to her usual self. She was on reduced intake of food so for two entire days, she ate very, very little. We did not want her small colon impaction to become worse. Even though the treatment um, enabled her to pass all the stool that was stuck up there, um, we wanted to go slow. Moving forward, we have a few things set in place just in case this happens again. Um, uh, we have electrolytes down at the barn that Sabrina will have. So if the weather changes drastically again, we will administer the electrolytes because they make a horse thirsty and we'll get them drinking. And we found that when we gave Sabrina electrolytes that she drank like she has never drank before. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.